What is going on, guys? Welcome back to Friday Fuel for another episode of Friday Fuel. I'm super excited for this one because um, what triggered me to, to really think about this, and uh, as you guys are coming in here, drop in the comments where you guys are coming in from. Uh, again, I'm coming in from Arizona. Uh, it's starting to heat up a lot, and uh, it was my birthday yesterday, so uh, that was super exciting. Good time. I really appreciate everybody. Uh, for the birthday wishes, and uh, so thank you guys for that. 22, uh, so I'm I'm looking forward to this year and, and just continuing to move forward and, and uh, just dream bigger, think bigger. It uh, it was definitely a year of reflection, or uh, it was a time of reflection for me yesterday because thinking back to it, last year uh, for my birthday, I had just got cut from the first season of the ultimate agent so if you haven't heard of the ultimate agent uh pretty much it's it was a reality tv show uh we got flown on a private jet to uh omaha nebraska and we're pretty much like put in a hyper like pressure cooker situation to make sales and i ended up getting cut the two days before i flew home or two days before my birthday flew home the day before um, and just spent the day, like my birthday, just doing nothing. Cause I, I couldn't say that I was home. Um, but at the same time, it, it was weird. So pretty much just sat home, just chilled and, and couldn't really do much. And when people called or texted me, uh, they would ask about the show and I just have to like, kind of play it off. But, um, it's crazy how far, like you could go in a year and it, as you continue to push, as you continue to, to grow, just like, wow, like there, there is a lot that, uh, that I've been able to do in the past year. And I'm super excited for what this year comes. So, um, that's kind of a, um, kind of like what's going, been going on in my world. Just a lot of reflection, uh, thinking about, okay, like, what do I really want? What do I want to really accomplish? Um, what do I really want to do? Uh, moving forward. So, but today, I, I know you guys are coming on here today. Um, what it takes to be great. So, as you guys are coming in, drop in the comments, great. Uh, as I'm going to be like really pulling back the curtain on what it's going to take for you to be great. And, and uh, this has come from, I mean, hours and hours and hours of podcasts, of having people on uh, Friday Fuel. Uh, from my podcast on Un from unknown to unforgettable uh, co have from coming like people uh, going to different masterminds conferences wherever it is right um, and as you guys are coming in like really drop in the comments great if you're trying to be great and if you're excited to hear how you can too um, so th again this has come from a bunch of different places but from the greats themselves like the John Wetmore's Cody Askins, Nate Offords, uh, the the greats that have been in the industry, like uh, especially Joe Camper, Tony Merwin, Luke Akery, like these people, Josh Youngs. Um, these are some of the people that come to mind. Tracy Lounsbury, uh, like that come to mind that have been great and have been able to be successful in the industry, like Pete Fournier's of the world. Um, and so, I'm going to be sharing with you some of the things that I've learned, the David prices of the insurance industry and what they've personally shared with me, but also shared with me on podcast Friday fuels. Uh, it's so it's a, it's a conglomerate of both. Right. And so I was the, the reason that I started thinking about this was because I was like, what makes them different than everybody else? What are some character traits that they have that I may not? Or what are some things that they think of that I may not as well, right? And so I think the first one that I want to start off with is like the masters of the craft and the, the masters of like the, the greats in the industry, they are never, they, they, they're willing to do the work outside of when the work occurs, and here's what I mean by that is I, uh, I, I started like growing a small agency and having a, like a, a small team. And what I realized is that there were only a few that were really being successful that were on the calls every day, 
24 set like every call that there were there is they're one two three minutes early they're coming in they're role playing they're they're role playing outside of it they're like really honing in on on what they're trying to do right they're they're role playing with themselves in front of a mirror they're role playing when they're driving they're role playing in the shower they're role playing in different ways of like how to overcome certain objections and this that's that's what separates the goods from the greats because the goods can go to the practice and, and do it but the greats are willing to do the work outside of the practice are willing to do the work when nobody else is watching what doing willing to do just like continue to get better hone the skill hone the craft hone like change their beliefs on how they possibly view the world and in business and what like subtle things that they can they can like think through um, outside of just practice, outside of just the daily role playing that's mandatory. They're willing to do the things outside of that. Listen to the podcast late night, listen to the sales calls late night when nobody else is watching, when nobody else is on Zoom dialing, right? So this is one of the like, the, like a key indicator, like how you can be great too and, and really implement that today is like, what would it take for me to be successful? I mean, that that's a big question, but at the same time, like being, yeah, exactly. Like practice and rehearsal is a difference between average and awesome. I love it. Uh, and as you guys are dropping in the comments, let StreamYard view your comments. Uh, so it, it uh, just pretty much let StreamYard view your comments so that I can see who that is, because that is a great thing. Practice and rehearsal is a difference between average and awesome. And so um, a lot of people, a lot of people want to be just average. Like some people are cool with being average, but it, do you really want to be average? I, I know that as you guys are listening to this, you guys, I guarantee are wanting to be great because you guys wouldn't be on a call at, at 7 a.m. Pacific time, 10 a.m. Eastern. You guys probably wouldn't be on this call. So drop in the comments. Great. As you guys are wanting to be Great. And if you guys are going to really implement these into your business, into your practices as well. So the first one is really being able to do the work outside of practice, because that's where the top 1% really end up like pushing forward and pushing past the crowd. Um, great. Yep. You have to decide to be great and put forth the action to, uh, to achieve. I love it. Uh, and then, uh, Chelsea, what's going on? Uh, the fires. Let, let stream your be your comments, but I love it. So that's the first one. The second one is that they believe that they can be great. I think of uh, I think of like the Medicare machine, Josh Young's, which shout out to him sponsoring Friday Fuel. So I think of him because he believes that he can be great. He believes that he can do the thing. He believes and speaks with conviction and works with conviction, knowing that he's great. So as you guys are coming in, like maybe tag Josh Young's um, because this is, he's, he's a great example of like knowing that he's going to be great, having conviction and working like he is great. And so um, that's like, that's another thing that separates the good from the greats is that they have the, the belief that they can be the greatest, that they are the greatest, that they're going to serve their clients at the greatest extent humanly possible. Come hell or high water, they're willing to do the work. They're willing to be great no matter what may come. So that's the second thing that I want to share with you guys of how you can be great. What it takes to be great is believing that you can be great. The third one is thinking massive, thinking huge in the insurance world in 2023, I dropped a, a, uh, a YouTube video yesterday with Cody Askins and, uh, he, he was sharing about how you can think bigger here in 2023 and just some practicals on how you can do that. But I think in terms of being great, if you want to be great and go from unknown, just unknown to unforgettable in the insurance world, there has to be a level of thinking bigger, thinking outside the box, thinking not just of the norm, not thinking just, hey, 
how can I get to 10,000? But hey, how do I get to 100,000 a month? How do I get to 250 a month, 300 a month? Like, how am I able to do those things and not just thinking, hey, how do I get to two to 3,000 a month? No, like really pushing forward, thinking bigger, thinking outside the box, thinking of ways, thinking in ways that you may not be for, right? So thinking bigger, doing bigger, taking massive, massive, massive action as you do think bigger because you got to move faster. You got to move quicker. Uh, the most successful people make decisions quickly and change them slowly. I learned this one from Thinking Grow Rich because he, he was talking. Uh, and if you guys haven't read Thinking Grow Rich, it, I mean, took the, he like this guy studied the top 500 wealthiest people in the world for 25 years and made a full grown book on it just fully written out so that you can consume as well and he he realized that out of the ultra wealthy the top 500 people in the world he realized that the most successful people make decisions quickly and change them slowly so i want to ask you like does it take 10 20 30 days sometimes months to really make a decision to make a change in your life or does it take maybe a second so a man thinks so he is. I love that. I love that comment. But think about that. Does, how long does it usually take you to, to make a, a decision? Does it take you one, one month, three months, five months, a year? Or, or are you making decisions quickly and changing them slowly? And it goes to my, that goes exactly with my next point which is doing the same thing over a long period of time. I think of John Wetmore in this situation because he's been, he did it for a little bit, wasn't seeing success, wasn't seeing success, going three, four years. Imagine going four years, not much success, and all of a sudden it starts working, it starts growing, it starts shaking, things start actually working out. And all of a sudden, boom, now he's at, what, 120, 150 million a year? But it took doing it over a long period of time, doing it over and over and over, getting up every day, thinking that he could be great, telling himself that he's going to be great, telling himself that it's worth it, that he can continue on. He's self-motivated. He's not relying on other people to motivate him, but he's willing to do consistently push, consistently do the work, even when the results may not be there. Is that you? I just want to ask you, is, it, is this, do these define, would you say that you have these currently or not yet? And if, if so, how do you feel like you can start doing that today? Because all you can control is today. You can't control the outcome of what's going to happen tomorrow. All you can control is today and what's going to happen today. And the All you can do is make the decision and make the commitment that you're going to do what's required not do what you feel like do what's required because i guarantee john whatmore didn't do what he felt like every single day i guarantee he did what was required so that's a that's another trait of the greats another one is focusing on one thing john whatmore david price like uh, david price i think of as a huge example in this because he's Focus on one thing and one thing only. Only if, if you guys know him or get to know him, you'll realize that, that he's dialed in. He's focused. I don't want anything else to do if it's not helping grow final expense insurance agency. That's all. I don't care about what, what other money may, quote unquote, be left on the table, but it's keeping your eyes down and focused on what you're really trying to accomplish and focusing on one thing dialed in over and over and over and over and over again, doing the reps, putting in the work um, and doing it. Hey, and, and Ryan, I appreciate your honesty and, and feedback here and like vulnerability here. My biggest challenge is to focus on one thing. The multitasking is brutal. It's huge. And, and honestly, it is a, it's really, it is challenging for sure, but it really takes like, Hey, is this you, you, the, what you have to focus on though. And this is what I've, what I've heard. This is what I've realized in my own life is that the one thing that you have to pick on has to be worth it 
more than the multiple other things that I could be doing. Right. So it's like for me right now is like, hey, how can I really grow an insurance agency and really like help massive people, like help a ton of people be successful? How can I really do that? How can I really pour and invest and really push the needle forward with growing an agency so I can help other people change their lives, change their families' lives? And so it, it really comes down to like, what is it, what is your why? And is the one thing that you focus on big enough, bigger than all the other things? And it really takes time for reflection. Brian, I appreciate your, your vulnerability as well. As you guys, if you guys feel this as well, drop in the comments what what you may be feeling on this as well. I, I'm with you, Ryan. I found that time blocking works best, at least for me. I love it. So yeah, time blocking is great. That's what I've been able to do as well is like, hey, this is when I'm going to shoot some content for this hour, two hours, whatever it is. This is what I'm going to think about it. This is what I'm going to be dialing. This is what I'm going to be like helping agents role play, helping agents grow their skill. So I love that. Uh, I, I love that. Brian also said Mason Vandermeter preaches this energy points. He calls it. Yep. Cause you only get a certain amount of focus and energy and attention. And the power of focus is huge. I, I made a YouTube video about this uh, not too long ago. And the, it's the power of focus and power of focusing on one thing. A lot of people want to pick up pennies and step over dollars to do it. And when I realized that I was doing that in my own life, I put my head down, focus. Hey, the only thing I should be doing is selling all day and ended up having my biggest month making $42,000 in a month. Right? So it's a power of focus, power of dialing in your attention because that honestly, it, if your attention is going this way, that way, this way, that way, all of a sudden you may not be able to accomplish anything. Right? So the last thing that I want to share with you guys is the the most successful people that I've seen, interviewed, had podcasts with, sat backstage in the big like uh, some of the biggest conferences. Uh, I mean, talking to Ed Milet, uh, worth worth a lot of money, is the greats buy back their time. The greats are able to buy back their time well and build solid teams around them. I think of Cody, right? Cody Askins. Um, he's been able to build a team around him, a team of people being able to delegate different tasks, different operational tasks, different ops, leadership things, whatever it is, right? He's able to build a team around him. And so maybe that's not recruiting people, but maybe that's just having people add, like hiring an admin, hiring a VA, hiring somebody to edit your videos, right? For me, that's what I've been able to do. Hire somebody to edit my short form content, edit, hire somebody to edit my long form content. Cause like, I can't do all that. There's no way I'm going to have enough time to sit down and edit videos all day. There's just no way. And it doesn't make sense. And so for you, maybe in your guys' situations, there's some things that you can delegate and push off. There's some things that you can delegate to somebody else. So you can just be focusing on the big three letter word, which is revenue generating activities, RGAs, revenue generating activities. Is it bringing money into the business or not? And if not, then maybe I need to buy back my time. And I've been listening to this book, super great book. If you guys want to check it out, it's called Buy Back Your Time. Um, I don't remember exactly who it's by. Let me see here. <clears throat> but this is it, like he just literally lays out the blueprint of how he's been able to really scale a lot more, but also buy back his time. So he's able to really do what he loves. And uh, I also was listening or watching this. Uh, and, and by the way, it's by Dan Martell. Dan Martell, buy back your time get unstuck, reclaim your freedom and build your empire. So he literally lays out the blueprint of how he's been able to grow his business a lot more, working a lot less through team scaling with teams. So um, yeah. And Cody's dad preaches that. Yep. Revenue generating activity. So um, I just want you guys to think about this as we wrap up here, like what the first question I want to want you guys to ask yourselves and maybe you have to go back through this and really listen to like, 
what may be like what be- certain beliefs do you feel like that you may have that they don't is it hard for you to invest in your business is it is it hard for you to focus on one thing is it maybe it's hard for you to buy back your time and hire people and put the certain people in situations do you feel like you're doing the fundamentals and the basics? Well, I want you guys to ask yourself and take an honest assessment, take an honest look. Hey, is, is this something that I'm really truly doing now? If not, how, how can I possibly change? Right? So I want you guys to think about that, reflect on that because these are the little things. This is a part of the, the 1% growth every single day that if you continue to dial in your focus, dial in exactly what you're looking to do, you're going to see more success than you probably think you'll ever will. So appreciate you guys coming on here. Thanks, guys, for watching another episode of Friday Fuel every single Friday, 7 a.m. Eastern or 7 a.m. Pacific time, 10 a.m. Eastern. I'll see you guys on the next one. Got a ton of great speakers lined up. Moving forward, go make it a great day. Go be great. Peace out.